Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I am showing you guys the best strategy. Well, not necessarily the best strategy, but a new strategy for Darius and Drag, a new place to camp. Now, I believe and Tyler believes we're both with we were just playing around this game. The reason why I only have Jug, and the reason why I wasn't using real gobble gums. We were just playing around trying to find better places to camp on this map to get high rounds. Other than the spawn, we thought the spawn spot was better than anything else we've used and then uh, actually Tyler had this idea for this spot and it's working pretty good honestly like it's not that bad of a spot and the reason why I'm gonna tell you guys first of all whenever you do any kind of strategy it doesn't matter what map you're playing on never use the box more than three times not a piece in total and honestly that's a little bit too much try to try to limit it down to like one a piece and if you can't get what you want you're gonna need the gobble gum that allows you to get fire cells because if you teleport the box you will get fire cells so in higher rounds you're gonna be getting fire cells where you could be getting max ammos now something else this bot offers is the fact that it only uses two real windows and zombies spawn either from crawling over the side of the map or dropping down or risers down below what that means is that you do not get carpenter so that's one more thing that you don't have to worry about getting whenever you do this and the next best thing is right here in front of me the gobble gum machine you don't have to go looking too far in fact you can use it in the middle of the round whenever you need it uh, you just got to make sure the other person watches you now the next best part is the death machine for this map or this spot because once you can walk down to the little hallway i'm about to walk to you get so many kills. Honestly, it's the most amount of kills with a death machine from any spot that you can camp at. Just because they're spawning so fast, you do need to make sure that the person with the electric bow is standing behind you. This is going to be for the B player, whoever is using the wolf bow. And you're just going to stand right here at this hallway and, you know, occasionally look back into a window and shoot them. But it's just a really, really good spot. It's very fast. It's efficient. It's a little dangerous. Um, you just need to make sure they don't come up the steps too much. And dealing with panzers is the next worst thing. Now, on this side, it's okay. I have definitely camped places where you have to uh, walk past the... Uh, panzer that could possibly be blocking a path but on this map you do have to walk right past them and yes it could block the path but as long as you and your teammate are paying attention to the game you'll be able to run past them before they even land on the map they spawn really close to you uh, in fact they spawn where mule kick is and they float in the air just a little bit before they hit the ground and it's enough time for us to run past as you're going to see later on in this video. And just to be safe, uh, the person with the electric bow, go ahead and drop a tornado right there where they're landing. And it'll slow them down that much more. As you can see, yes, I did get red screen. But that was just because I wasn't paying attention and he wasn't paying attention. Like I said, this is a goof off game for us. That's why you're not seeing like a 50 or something uh, from the spot. Just because we were practicing this yesterday, I guess you would say, yeah, yesterday night. And today, whenever this video is going up... We're probably going to be live streaming and we're going to be using this strategy and seeing what we can get. So we really think this is a good spot. Maybe you guys uh, could use this and play with it. We're trying to get to those places that no one's really camped before. And I haven't seen too many videos about this. But as you can see right there, the Panzer. Yeah, of course, I wanted to go up and blast them a little bit. Trust me, do not do that. The wolf bow does need a lead. Now, follow our path on the way out. We think it's uh, one of the cleanest paths to get away I'm lagging behind right here because I I have no idea why I just stood there and start shooting the panzer. But you want to go up these steps and you do want to sprint through this. And it's going to make zombies spawn out in front of you. But if you're fast enough and you have the correct perks being stamina up, you will be able to make it past the zombies before they spawn in front of you. And then go hang out right around here by the death, uh, the death ray. And once they all come flying, then that's whenever you can start shooting them with your upgraded guns, your bows. Do what you can to kill them here. And it just kind of gets really simple. Now, as you can see in this video, we did not kill all the panzers like this. And this is the round 30 panzers. So in a real game, we'll definitely have pop shocks. And the best way to kill panzers is bringing them up here to the death ray, letting them drop. And as you can see, they drop and they kind of are stunned for a moment. And then run up and knife them with pop shocks. But 
If you need to bail, you can come right here and bail. Just make sure you act a little bit faster than what we did. If there is an X, one person needs to go in there before the other person just to see if you can teleport. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck getting high rounds. Peace.